a man works at his computer at the Arab office headquarters in San Francisco. Gabrielle Lurie-Ruders a morning roundup of the day's news. Climate strategies as cities figure out how to reduce their climate impact, they shouldn't overlook what sharing economy platforms like Uber and Airbnb can do to help, according to a new study. The Washington Post reports think of the sharing economy, then, as a scalloped version of a large family home, where everyone watches the same television, does their laundry together, shares meals and rides in the same car, a paper published in Ecological Economics suggests. From calling an Uber to using public parks and libraries, shared resources can cut down on individual energy consumption and help to tackle climate change, the researchers found. Outbreak people are scrambling for vaccinations in San Diego, after reports that the hepatitis A outbreak already responsible for 16 deaths has now infiltrated the restaurant industry. Some are pointing blame at the city's delays installing public restrooms downtown to serve homeless people. San Diego Union Tribune Street makeover in an imagined redesign of the traffic-logged Wilshire Boulevard in Los Angeles, Lyft and its planning expert partners introduce a narrower path for vehicles framed by wider sidewalks, more trees, protected by lanes, and an exclusive lane for autonomous buses. CNN Immigrant Lifeline is born and raised locals are shipping out of many Midwestern cities, more immigrants are moving in. According to census figures showing immigrants accounting for 37 percent of the growth in the region's metro areas over the past 15 years. And look at Rockford, Illinois, which saw a 64 percent spike. Chicago Tribune The Tech Imbalance Why doesn't Amazon's bid for HQ2 mention social equity as a priority? A Texas monthly column notes the sharp income inequality befalling cities where tech becomes dominant, including Amazon's home Seattle and even the unsubhemian Austin. City Chalupa Taco Bell's new focus on millennial in urban areas has birthed plans for 350 new cantina-style stores, many serving alcohol, in cities including Detroit, Pittsburgh, Nashville and New York. Sacramento be the urban lens show us your city on Instagram using Satilabanth Ground. Katie Pierce writes the lab report, City Lab's morning news roundup. Pop for older, innering suburbs in the Northeast and Midwest, the best hope often lies in merging with the city. Equity facepinted fans of the insane clown posse are gathering on the National Mall this weekend. And they have something important to say. Transportation The federal government spends $7.6 billion a year paying people to drive to work, and it's making traffic and pollution worse. Here's how some cities are fighting back. Design the Obama Presidential Center is poised to transform Chicago's Jackson Park, as well as its surrounding neighborhoods. But residents want a binding community benefits agreement transportation after thefts and vandalism. Baltimore's new bike share system has suspended operations for a month, 